Hello YouTube! Um, today I'm gonna show you guys a little cool trick here. Uh, it's This video is not really music related, but it's um, related to Reaper at least, the, the program I use for making music. And uh, basically I read somewhere on the internet that the pedometer in the Samsung Galaxy S5 cell phone isn't really that accurate, and uh, I'm gonna try measuring the accuracy of the pedometer by taking a walk and tapping the shell of the phone to record transients and that, then I will import this WAV file into Reaper and I will show you guys how you can count stuff in Reaper uh, automatically. So uh, yeah, basically I'm going to import this track back into Reaper once I've taken the walk. I'm going to make Reaper find all transients and make a split before the transient and then I will just uh, look at the number of clips on the track by selecting them all. Then I will measure this against the reported uh, number of steps I've taken from this walk now. So I'm gonna restart the pedometer and uh, take a walk. So let's get to it. I've taken a walk and this is the number of steps I've taken. 1719. There's the actual WAV file uh, from the walk. There's a lot of taps here. And uh, there's also some background noise. the wind blowing and anyway my little objective here is first of all to get these taps to look nice and sharp and without any background noise <laughs> so the first step is to let's filter out the taps I'm gonna pull up an EQ I uh, will go for the re EQ Reaper zone remove all bands but one band pass Here's a nice resonant frequency. Seems like the phone is resonating here. But the lower I go here, the more wind I get. So this frequency might actually be best. Apply track FX to items as new take. Mono output. Okay. I'm gonna hit T to select that take as my primary track. Wow. Yeah, so I'm just gonna clean up the track now. Okay, so here's the track. I've done some extreme amounts of processing to get these nice sharp transients, as you can see here. Uh, they're spaced, spaced out evenly. I was walking at a pretty even pace. So it kind of looks like a metronome actually. Click, 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 click. Sort of sounds like it as well. So that's actually my finger tapping the back side of the phone. Uh, there's some distortion going on here. I used G-Clip and I've used uh, extreme amounts of compression and equalization to get rid of sound that's not wanted. And then I've used some gating to get the background noise uh, away. Here's the original track, uh, which, let's see, it is semi-processed as you can see here. I've had to cut some stuff out uh, manually as well. Let's see, I can bring in the original track so we can compare them. Uh, let's see... Do, 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 do. Shut up, phone. Shut up, phone! Here we go, the first tap is right there. Or is it now? That is the first tap right here. So the first tap is going to get be aligned here. And as we can see, rest of them also align like this. Tick, 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 tick. So I have not messed with the timing. I have only, only, only processed the sound and amplified the taps and reduced the background noise, to put it, to put it simply. I've spent about half an hour to get this uh, uh, thing looking this nicely. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do now. The dynamic split uh, function in Reaper is what I was talking about earlier. So here I have my track with all my taps, um, and these, these are also my steps, okay? So I, I wanna know how many steps have I taken in this WAV file. All right, let's find out. There's a thing called if you right-click, go to Item Processing, 
dynamic split items. Okay, here you select. Uh, sorry about the bad. Oh, let's see, maybe I can zoom in a little. I'm actually using my camera for this for some reason. I haven't gotten around to installing a desktop recorder yet. But yeah, you just select at transients so that uh, the cuts are made right here at the transients. And then this thing has a built-in gate. So you click that when gate closes. It also splits at the gate closing. Uh, I don't actually have to click that for this now. If I don't click it, it's still gonna split at the transients. But if I click it, I will get this uh, silence section here, the dark part. The light part is the actual clip it's gonna leave me. So I've set the minimum slice length to 215 milliseconds. And that is also, well, that is controlling the length of these little clips now. Okay. So I'm gonna set them to become about halfway to the next transient. As you can see here. So that's sort of 200, 215. So just mess around with these settings until you get something that looks uh, good here in the background. Hit OK. Boom. Now, all my tabs have been split into their individual little clips. Let me zoom out now. There we go. All tabs here. OK. Get ready for the magic. Over here. Right click. Track item count. So it says 1720 clips. And the amount of steps I had taken according to my phone was 1719. See? So, in conclusion, the pedometer is extremely accurate in the Galaxy S5. And also, uh, you learned now how to use the transient, uh, the dynamic splitting in Reaper. Right click on a clip, go to item processing, go to dynamic split items, set and play around with these settings until you find something that uh, is uh, working for you. And also make sure that you have good transients in your clip. If you record like a drum kit with one microphone and you want to split the snare drum out from the whole track, it's not gonna work uh, unless you isolate, isolate it extremely well. Um, uh, yeah, so you need to have good transients. Okay, guys. Thanks. I'm out.